So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the October 2021 Pure Mathematics P4 um, International A Level LXL exam. And this question here is about binomial expansion. And they told us that f of x is such that it's the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. And they told us the modulus of x must be less than a half. Find in ascending powers of x the first four non-zero terms of the binomial expansion of f of x, giving each term or each coefficient in its simplest term, in simplest form. So when you're going to expand something like this, first of all, we need to express it in index form. So the square root of something is the same as that same thing raised to the power of a half. Now when we have something like this, we cannot use the same methods that we used in P2, where you have positive integer um, powers. You cannot use the NCR button in your calculator for this. So we have to use the formula. And in the formula, there's a, there's a particular... Um, the formula, basically, that we, we use is in the formula book. And it's when you have something in the form 1 plus something to the power of n. And the formula goes like this, which is in your formula book. 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared. And it follows on that same pattern. n times n minus 2. n times n minus 2 times, sorry, n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed, and so on. It follows that same, same type of pattern. So the n here is the power, and the x in the formula is whatever's in this place here. But it must always say 1 here. In this question, it's kind of, they've been kind of easy on you. They kept this as a 1 here. If this wasn't a 1, we would have had to uh, rewrite it so there's a 1 here. Okay, we'd have to have a 1 here. Okay, but because there's already a, it's already a 1 here, there's no problem. We can just use the formula directly. If there was a 2 here, we'd have had to take 2 out from this and then continue. But here, this it's fine. This is just, you can see examples if you look at the playlist, which will appear somewhere in this area at the end of the video. You'll see a playlist for binomial expansion from P4. You'll see some examples of what to do when there's a number that's not 1 here. But this, this one is kind, kind of easy. So you're going to do 1 plus n, which is the power times the x, which is whatever's in this place, including its sign, plus n times n minus 1, which is a half, times a half minus 1, which is negative a half, over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, times minus 4x squared to the power of 2. Okay, And then you're going to have plus a half times minus a half, times, you're going to have minus 3 over 2, take away 1, take away 1 again, over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, times, you're going to have a minus 4x squared to the power of 3. They want the first four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, hopefully none of these will be 0, and that will be the first four non-zero terms. So that's a half. That's going to give you minus 2x squared. And here you're going to have um, negative. That's going to become positive. You're going to square negative, And there will be a negative here. So you have negative. That's 1 over 8. And that's going to be times 16x to the power of 4. Okay, I'll simplify that in a minute. Then here you're going to have positive. Uh, again, it will be negative. Because this is going to become a negative, And these will give you something positive. So negative times positive is negative. You're going to have um, the 3 cancelling with this 3. Okay, and then you'll have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16. So you'll have um, 1 over 16 times, and you have minus 4 cubed. Well, we've, we've dealt with the sign already. That's going to be 64. 4 cubed is 64. And you multiply the powers, so that's x to the power of 6. Okay, so that gives you 1 minus 2x squared, minus 2x to the power of 4, okay, and minus 4x to the power of 6. And those are the first four terms in their simplest form for this binomial expansion. So there's the answer for part A. 
Now for part B, tells us by substituting x equals a quarter into the binomial expansion of f of x, obtain an approximation for root 3, give your answer to four decimal places. So we're going to substitute x equals a quarter. First, I'll substitute into here and see what happens. So I have 1 minus 4 times a quarter squared. So that gives us the square root of 1 minus 4 over 16. Okay, because that's going to give you 1 over 16. 4 over 16, which is a quarter, which is going to give us um, the square root of 1 minus a quarter, which is the square root of 3 over 4, which will be the same as root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. So when you put x equals a quarter in here, you end up with root 3 over 2. So we can say that um, root 3 over 2 will be equal to, for the expansion that we've got, we've got to substitute, instead of x, a quarter. So we have minus 2 times a quarter squared. Minus 2 times a quarter to the power of 4. Minus 4 times a quarter to the power of 6. Okay. Let's move this over here. Okay, so now I can calculate what this is, and then I need to multiply by 2. So root 3 would be equal to basically 2 times all of this. So root 3 is going to be 2 times all of this. So it's 1 minus 2 over 16, 2 over 16, which is 1 over, uh, 1 over 8, minus 2 times 1 over that's going to be, well, we'll just put it in the calculator. We don't need to calculate all that. I can just put this all in the calculator and then find the answer. Let's just do that. So we have 1 minus 2 times, you got a quarter squared. 1 over 4 squared. Then minus 2 times a quarter to the power 4. Then you're going to have minus um, 4 times a quarter to the power of 6. Okay, and that should give us 887 divided by 1024. So we say root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2. equals 887 over 1024. Therefore, root 3 would give us 2 times. 2 times 887 over 1024. So we take this answer and we multiply it by 2. Okay, and then we write that as a decimal to 4 decimal places. So it gives you 1.732421. Let me just do this. Okay, just so that I don't see it. When you're doing your work in your book or in the exam, you have the calculator in front of you here. The calculator disappears when I go to this screen, so I'll just put this here so I can see. 1.732421. Da, da, da. So four decimal places, it's going to be 1.7324. So there's the answer. Correct. So root 3 is approximately equal to this according to our expansion. Okay, they didn't ask us to find how accurate it is compared to the real value. But if you want to make sure that you haven't done something really stupid, you can just say, okay, let's find out what root 3 actually is. And it shouldn't be so far away from the answer here. It's 1.732. So you can see that it's, it's accurate up to actually three decimal places. Okay, so this is, you, you know, to, to find out what it actually is comparing to your answer would be something which is... Um, sensible to do to make sure you haven't done something really stupid because if your answer's way out then you know you've done something wrong okay so there's the answer to part b and that completes this question number four thank you for watching um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear over here other questions about binomial expansion from p4 can be found in the playlist over here including the types 
where you can uh, where you have a number that's not a one here which you can see from some examples in there um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon